In recent memory, the Pittsburgh Penguins goaltending have had some really bad moments. No one can forget the double OT giveaway by Tristan Jari against the Islanders two years back, or in the 2022 playoffs where Louis Domingue completely forgot how to goaltend for a second, or the yearly collapse that Casey DeSmith normally had when he was called upon due to injury. But because of all of that, the Pittsburgh Penguins had an interesting decision to make. This summer, the Penguins had an interesting decision. Tristan Jari was going to be an unrestricted free agent, and they had to decide whether they wanted to keep him or not. In the end, though, the Penguins decided to sign him to a 5x5 contract, and now the Penguins will have him for five more years. When he's healthy, Tristan Jari is one of the most elite goaltenders in the NHL. He puts up amazing numbers, but whenever he's playing injured or has some type of nagging injury bothering him, he's almost unwatchable. We saw this this last season in the second to last game during the Blackhawks where he was clearly playing injured. The goal that ended up ending the Penguins' season by Andreas Athanasiu was horrible and was entirely on Jari's fault. But like I kind of mentioned earlier, the goal tang just hasn't just been on Tristan Jari. Casey DeSmith has been with the organization for a long time and was recently just moved down in the Eric Carlson trade to Montreal. DeSmith always posted fine numbers as a backup, but whenever he was fully called upon to be the starter, he would always struggle. Between that and off-ice runs that the players had, he was very disconnected with the fan base, and it was time for him to go. The Penguins were stuck with two goaltenders that the fan base was very iffy on, and they had a very tough decision to make whenever free agency started this year. Two issues that the current generation Penguins have been having lately is that their defense has been struggling, and they don't have a lot of trade assets to get valuable players. Kyle Dubas proved that you don't have to have that valuable of assets to still get good players in the Eric Carlson trade earlier this summer. But the issue with that is that it also helps them not play defense even more. Eric Carlson's one of the best offensive defensemen that the NHL has seen, but defense-wise, not so good. This is why fans wanted the Penguins to go ahead and trade for a truly elite goaltender like John Gibson. Gibson would have been a good fit for the Penguins considering he's from Pittsburgh, but the issue with him is, is that it would have cost a lot to get him. John Gibson was once seen as one of the best goaltenders in the NHL. Lately, though, a lot of people have given up on him because his numbers have fallen a bit being on really bad Anaheim Ducks teams. The steep price is definitely what stopped the Penguins from going out and getting them though, because like I said, the fit would have been great for the team, but it really kind of sucks that they weren't able to get them. Recently in the NHL, it seems like teams either ride with one truly elite goaltender, or they just have a revolving carousel of different goalies that come in and play for them when they're hot. A good example of this is the Vegas Golden Knights that went in with a bunch of different goalies on their playoff run. The Golden Knights went into the playoffs this year with a bunch of goalies that most fans have never heard of. But because they rode each goalie's hot streak, they were able to get to the Stanley Cup Finals where they ultimately beat the Florida Panthers. With all the recent signings that Dubas has made, I think this is the direction that the Penguins are going to try out this year. But I kindly wish that they went for a truly elite goaltender. I wish they would have went for a truly elite goaltender like Connor Hellbuck, who's made it known that he wants to be out of Winnipeg. The guy is a Vezina winner, and he puts up amazing results every year, even though the Winnipeg Jets have continued to struggle every year. Not to say that the Penguins system that they went with isn't going to work, but I really wish they would have considered this a little bit more. I think if the Penguins would have went out and got Hellbuck or even John Gibson, they would have been considered true contenders in the NHL for a Stanley Cup run, even with their old age. But what the Penguins did decide to go out and do this year is grab a bunch of different goaltending. They grabbed Magnus Helberg, Alex Nedeljkovic, Garrett Sparks. They also have one of their prospects coming over from Sweden this year, which is Joel Bloomquist. When a team has that many goaltenders signed to contracts, it really seems that it's just going to be revolving door goaltenders this year and just trying to ride the hot hand. Tristan Jari is obviously going to be the starter. He's on the biggest contract, and he's a lot better than the other ones. But if he gets injured like he has in recent years, someone else is going to have to step up, and I really hope Nedeljkovic is the answer. Back when Nedeljkovic was with the Hurricanes, he finished in the top three in Calder voting. And then he went to Detroit and struggled for a couple years, and now he signed with the Penguins. The defensive structure that the Hurricanes play with is a lot better than the ones that the Red Wings play with. With that being said, the Penguins' defensive structure can be good sometimes, but in recent years it has kind of faltered a little bit. But I hope just coming into a new system helps rejuvenate Alex Nedeljkovic and he's able to get back to his past form. With all of that being said though, I do think that re-signing Tristan Jari was the safest option for Kyle Dubas to make. Without much trade capital, it would have been really hard to go out and get one of the elite goaltenders in the NHL, and I completely understand why Kyle Dubas did what he did. Casey DeSmith was with the organization a long time, but he clearly needed to be moved on from. He kind of had the same thing every year where he would look really good at some points, and then other points he would look almost unplayable. Hopefully by going to another team, Casey Smith is able to get his career back on track. He definitely belongs in the NHL, he just needs to get his game a little bit more consistent. Part of me does worry about the goaltending this year for the Penguins. The most glaring issue for me is that the fact that Jari keeps getting injured every single year and it always comes back to bite the Penguins in the butt. I really hope this year's different, but it's still a big worry of mine, but I do think Alex Nedeljkovic can step up when he's called upon. He's shown it before in Carolina and hopefully he's able to get back to that form, but ultimately I'm not sure until it actually happens. The one thing I do have hope about is that if the Penguins goaltending is faltering, Kyle Davis will go out and make a move to help it. 
Whether that's acquiring a more defensive defenseman or just going out and acquiring a new goaltender entirely, I can see Kyle Dubas making a move. I do think that re-signing Jari was the best move that Dubas could have made, and I can see why he did it entirely. Right now the contract looks up in the air, but if he plays at the level that we know he's capable of, it'll be an amazing contract for the team. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and while you're down there, subscribe for more Penguins content and more NHL content.